Who's up for a drink? All right, I am too. All right, I know I've been gone for a while, but I'm back, feeling better, kind of lost my sense of taste and smell for a while, but I'm doing better now. So today, uh, I have the Barissimo Springtime Coffee Collection, which you can pick up at your local Aldi's. Uh, we are not paid for, endorsed, sponsored by. I just like it because it's a fun place to go and get little quirky stuff like this or my little uh, friend here on the shelf. So since St. Patrick's Day was a couple weeks ago, uh, I decided to break out the Irish Cream Coffee this time around. You know, over here double fisting it. Um, and, and for those who are wondering, the proper serving size for a K-cup is eight ounces. I finally figured it out. I had to ask a very uh, influential and intelligent and all-knowing person in my house, um, that person whose name I can't say or they might order you something from Amazon. Um, and you know, they, they, it was determined that eight ounces is the proper serving size. So if your K-cup goes bigger or smaller, eight is where you're at for these kind of things. All right, get into the sniff test. Smells like coffee, but it has that sweet, um, fragrant Irish cream vibe going on. You know, not, not milky, but if you've ever had Bailey's, you know what I'm talking about. It's, it's a step down from butterscotch, that kind of sweetness. Um, yeah, like a, like a butterscotch pudding kind of thing. So like if someone like was cooking butterscotch pudding and you got to cook it, don't do the instant kind cooking butterscotch pudding in the other room. That's the kind of aroma that I'm getting. All right, well, hey, enough sip niffing, time to get sipping. I'm out of practice with this. Ooh, hot. Forgot how hot this gets sometimes. Not getting much flavor off, off it right first glance, but chances are I just burnt my taste buds to smithereens, so. Okay. Uh, on second sip, that butteriness um, comes through. It's, yeah, it's, it's really just like you had some, some butter. Um, imitation butter, kinda? Margarine? Yeah, I think more of a margarine kind of flavor. And not necessarily flavor, but sensation. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to do the word association with 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 my my word bucket. The the finish lingers with that sweet butteriness. Um, yeah, right on the swallow. There's there's a there's a quick hit of of a very intense, but very brief sweetness. Yeah, the finish lingers, but that little hit is already drifting away. I don't know whether I've acclimated to it or not, um, but you know, it's coffee, so I'm gonna keep drinking it. I got a lot of roast on that sip, um, but the roast isn't overpowering. It's, it's got to be a medium because you don't want to over roast something for flavored coffee and then, you know, have the roast overpower the flavors. That's not going to make any sense. Yeah, I mean, I'm getting more of the the buttery smoothness on my tongue, necessarily on my palate. 
Um, but hey, it's coffee. Even when it, you know what, I'll take the back. When coffee's bad, it's really bad. This isn't bad coffee. I wouldn't say it's great on the flavor, but it's, it's a subtleness where if you're drinking this without cream, sugar, or any kind of additives, you're gonna be able to pick up the differences. But if you are one who likes to drink it with cream and sugar and all those other things, it might get lost. The flavor, the subtle flavors might get lost. Um, but hey, find it, buy it, try it, taste it. Hopefully you enjoy it. Until next time, cheers. What's in your cup?